Welcome back to another episode of DIY Golf Cart Garage. Today we're going to work on the Yamaha G29 changing out a voltage regulator. In order to do that, I need my socket of 5 sixteenths and my little bit of screwdriver. You'll see why I need this in just a moment. But that's the car over here, so let's go ahead and get started pulling that thing off. Just so you can get an idea of where the part actually is, we've got the rear body removed. Okay, but if your body was on here, you can go to your rear inspection panel, take your pop rivets out, pull this off, and here it is. It's a lot easier to see with that part off. Now we're gonna be, with that body on, you're gonna be coming through this area and not up here. You'll come underneath, this is where I would use my little screwdriver, press the little button on the bottom, and pull straight out. Get that wire out of the way, because there's plenty more wires in there. Then you would come up with your ratchet and take the bolt off. And for time's sake, I'm gonna come up this way. Once you get the bolt out, it's done. You just pull it straight down from the bottom, right between all the wires, and we've done this portion. Now, let me get to clean this up a little bit, since there was nothing wrong with it, and I'll just go ahead and put it back on. Well, just to help things go just a little bit smoother, got WD-40, put just a little spot in the hole here. A little bit on the bolt itself. Got that tight. And hook up the wire harness back up to it. And we're done. Well, I hope today's episode on changing out a voltage regulator on a Yamaha G29 was helpful to you. Just remember, anytime you are working on a golf car or really any car, you take the bolt out, just putting a little bit of WD-40 on the nut or the bolt or both, makes reassembly much easier. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Don't forget to subscribe. And once again, thank you for visiting us here at DIY Golf Car Garage.